Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you an updated version of my Cori program. This is version 2.3.3 that I will be showing you. Um, in this version I added RedNet capability and improved a few general use things about it. So let's get to it. So this is the turtle. I just named the program turtle for now. So I added a few arguments. The first argument can be anything you want if you just want to skip it. But if you actually want to use it, it's what side the chest is placed on for its deposit when it's done. So you could have top, bottom, right, or left. Those are the only ones that do anything. Otherwise, it'll just output to the front like it normally does if there's a chest there. So, and the second argument, if you have true in this space, then it will output to RedNet with its uh, biometrics and all the information about it. So I'm going to set that to true. Let's do a 5 by 5 by 4 so you can see what it does no auto emptying and it will need fuel standard fueling program it's much more efficient now and then it'll ask you for the host computer ID and you could do this before or at this point but now you need to boot up the computer program so I'm gonna boot up computer and then you can also have an argument here for what side the uh, modem is on and it's gonna turn on the modem or actually if there's no argument it'll ask you and then computer number zero is waiting for turtle message so the host computer ID is zero Then it'll do a handshake it'll establish its connection and it'll start mining and then over here on the computer it'll give you everything you need to know about the turtle and it'll update this every row so every time it gets to the end of the row, it'll update the display by sending a RedNet message. And that's about it on how to use it. You can watch it go down. And when it's done, it'll say moving to the next layer. As you can see in the right here, it'll come up. And then it'll say it's done and give you all its counting statistics.